So you may be asking yourself, what goes on in my backyard? Or who uses my backyard when I'm not around? Those questions will be answered tonight on My Backyard. To start, the ecosystem that my backyard once was a part of was completely destroyed in the late 1800s when miners came in and dredged the French Creek and deforested the entire hillside to run their operation. Since then, the lodgepole pine has thrived. It now consumes almost all of the forest area. In fact, the lodgepole grows so tight that they block sunlight from ever even reaching the ground in some cases, limiting the growth of vegetation. That means that this small shrub survives off of what little sunlight it can get during the summer seasons and is completely buried during the winter. Meanwhile, this leafy shrub is losing its color because the days are getting shorter and the chloroform cannot produce near as fast. In my backyard, you can often find decomposing stumps and dying trees because the other lodgepoles have outcompeted them and they can no longer survive. Next, we'll examine what happens when snow comes. It has recently snowed and dodging my canopy cover and the heat from the tree absorption. You can see these bare spots, whereas where the trees are not, there is some snow. There's no snow remaining on the tops of the trees. Even as the days get shorter, the prince's pine maintains its chlorophyll and stays green all year round. We've got a lot less snow coverage now, although a storm is supposed to be coming in. You can see all this duff. Some is super old, and you can see the gray needles right here, whereas the fresher ones are more red-like. We still have some, some green leaves showing, but as you can tell down here, they are getting more and more yellow. It's 11.45 in the morning and the sun is barely poking up over the hill. It's because of the north-northeast aspect in the steep hill that there's barely any sunlight back here. You can see that the snow will stay relatively deep compared to the other areas. Because of our snow removal on our driveway, there's added moisture, allowing more trees to grow in this particular spot. You can see the tracks are mainly from dogs, but there is some fox tracks here. I'm sure you've all seen the red fox around Breckenridge, but did you know that he is an adaptive species? He was pushed out by human development in the early days and now has come back and adapted to eating rodents and other things and also being able to stay clear away from predators such as coyotes. And then the ever so invasive Adam. <laughs> If you look up here, you'll see that we have a woodpecker nearby, so we have a hole that you can barely see over here, and then an owl to scare him away. He doesn't work at all. The cause of those holes is from a pileated woodpecker. Him and his mate have decided that this territory is theirs, and they wanted to make sure that our home was their home. They have been here longer than us, but they are quite territorial, and they definitely do not back down. The biggest threat to my backyard is undoubtedly the fact that it is a residential lot and somebody will someday build a house on it. Alright, well that's it for my backyard. See you guys later.